Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will be talking about the new Google Search Console interface. And I will be talking about how you can get the best out of the Google Search Console tool. We all know what Google Search Console is all about. And for the sake of people that doesn't know what you can do with the Google Search Console, Google Search Console is a free tool like Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager. Google Search Console is mainly for your website, for you to track the organic performance of your website. With Google Search Console, you can do a lot of things on your website. With Google Search Console, you can see how the content you are putting out organically, that is your blog posts, are performing. The keywords that are performing on your website, it can also give you insights on things you need to improve on. Google Search Console will also give you updates and insights if you are going against the Google guidelines, you are going against the search engine guidelines, which you might be penalized for at the end and your ranking might drop, your organic traffic might drop. So that is what Google Search Console is all about. I call Google Search Console a website friend because it, it offers you a lot of things for free. Basically, it offers you a lot of things for free. And with Google Search Console, you can achieve a lot. So this is the new Google Search Console interface where we have overview, before Google Search Console was called Google Webmaster Tools, after it, after Google came up with their updates, they changed it to Google Search Console. And prior to this new interface that we have, we we have we have different type of interface. And I'm very pleased with what Google has done right now on this new interface because. It's giving you insight into a lot of things. And here you see, the, this is your overview. You see, you see this, uh, your overview where you have your performance, your full report, you have index of everything you are going to see here. This is the overview performance. This is where you see the performance of your website. This is where you see the performance of your website. This is in the last three months how my website is performing. This is for URL inspection, URL inspection pages. So under index, that is what is index? Index it means Google bot. That is the Google bot has has come into this set of pages. They've called it and they've indexed it. That is, it is now in Google search engine. So that's basically what index means. So they are saying under index you have pages. You have video pages, that is videos that are on your website. We have sitemap. I will talk about what sitemap is all about going forward. This is removals, that is sites, website pages that you remove on your website. This is under experience. Experience is just meaning what are the experiences of people when they come to your website? Is your pages, what is the UI and UX of your website? Are people not being confused? Because on search, Google search engine favors a lot of websites that is straightforward, that the UI and US experience is great. So you really need to take cognizance of that, of the page experience, which the page experience includes the UI US experience of people when they come to your website. The, the load speed of your website, your website needs to load within two to four seconds. So if a website, if people come on search and they come across your website, and it's taking them 30 seconds to one minute for your website to load. That is the wrong, that is the bad, bad page experience. We also have core, core, web, core web Vitals, which is under page experience too. For shopping, we have product snippets. We have merchant listing. You know, Google created, Google has a platform called Google Merchant Center for basically e-commerce platform, whereby you can list all your product organically and run them organically on website on Google search engine rather. So I will show you an example of that going forward. This, that is the reason why all 
the activities on your Google Merchant Center will come under your product snippet and merchant listing. That is why you have it here. You also have under enhancement, we have breadcrumbs and site link search box. So I'm going to show you now how you can connect your website with Google Search Console. So how can you connect your website with Google Search Console? There are basically three ways you can connect your website to Google Search Console, but I'll be showing you one in this tutorial. So I will, I'm going to use one of my websites to show you that. Let me go to your MLG, New Life Products. Don't worry about it. It's a great product, and I would like you to check the product out. Let me let me go back to Google Search Console and let's connect this web. You come here, you come to Add Properties. You come to Add Property. So you have basically you have two ways. You have domain two ways to connect a property, which is your website to Google Search Console, or you are you use use domain or you use URL prefix. So for this, for the sake of this video, we are going to be using URL prefix. So I'm going to copy and pop it into Google Search Console. So this is it, and I'm going to press continue. So it is verifying my property right now. So I think I think it has connected to the website. It has connected to the website immediately. So I'm gonna look for a new website to do that. Then we go under settings. It's saying I'm a verified owner. So I want to I want to remove this property. I want to remove this property. Saying my so what this website has already been console. So for the sake of this video, what I need to remove the code, the tracking code that was connected. So remove the tracking code. Let me go under appearance. So I'm going to remove the Google verification code on my first. I'm going to go into header. So we go into header. So this is the header tag of the website. It's not showing yet. So basically what I just want to show you is how you can connect your website and that website. Let me try another website that I have if I'm going to see the Google verification code in it. So basically I need to disconnect one, Google Search Console, then
So like I did for the previous one, I'm going to come on that appearance. The reason why I'm doing all the fresh websites, I don't have a new website. So all my websites, I've disconnected them before I could before I could add another website. So before I could add it back to Google site now. So you go on that edda.php. This is a, this is WordPress content management system. And we all know WordPress is so, but if you have an idea of how to write code, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you have a lot to do. I'm trying to check out the code right now. I can also find the code on this website. So let me try this last website. This is my website that is not verified at all. Okay. So for the sake of what we've been talking about, basically what I'm trying to show you now is how you can connect your websites, how you can connect your websites with Google Search Console. So what I've been doing since is because my website all my websites are connected. I don't have a website that is not connected. So I'm trying to disconnect one of them and show you how I did it. So basically, when, when you want to connect the websites, all you need to do is to go to, you can see that this one is not verified. You come under your Google Search Console, you come to select a property. You come to select a property and you go to add a property. So when you go to add the property, since this one is not verified, I will click on this my website that is not verified. So it will show you something like this that you want to verify ownership. So we have basically three three main ways for you to verify your ownership or for you to connect your Google Search Console to your website. You have HTML file. That is, you need to upload an HTML file on the website. This requires a lot, a bit of technicality because you are going to download this file and you are going to upload it on the root file of your website. A lot of people can't do this. And that is why I don't really teach people on how on going through this route to connect their website to Google Search Console. We also have this other than use Google Analytics to connect it. You can use Google Tag Manager. The reason why you can use all these things are because they are all Google products. You can also use domain name provider. But for the sake of this website, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can use the HTML tag to connect your website. The HTML tag is very, very easy and very, very easy to comprehend. So what you need to do is to add the meta tag to your website homepage. So it's saying, copy the meta tag below. This is the meta tag that you are saying and paste it into your site homepage. It should go into the head section before the open body. So it should go into the head section. This is the head section before the open body. This is the open body of your website. This is the head section. This is where the head section of your website is closing. Where you have this four slash. So you can paste the code within anywhere here. You can paste this code that you are copying. When you copy this code, it has been copied. You will paste it within this open edge section and the closing edge section of this website. If you are using the HTML tag option to verify your website. So let me show you how, how you can do it.
So this is the website. So this is the login of the website. You log in into the website here. Yeah? When you log in into the website, it takes you to takes you to the back end of the is to you choose to use the HTML tag option to verify your website with Google Search Console or to connect your website with Google Search Console. So all you need to do right now is to take the code that you have copied. For, for WordPress, this is how you are going to do it. You go under appearance, you come to this part of your website, come to this part of your website. Appearance is where your team, the team you, you built your website on, the team that you customize, and that is where you see the team file, where you see the source code of your website. Under appearance, you go to team editor, you click on team editor. Once you go to team editor, you follow the instruction on this display screen that says, Copy the meta tag below and paste it into the site homepage. It should go in the edge section before the first body section. So what we'll do next is to is to go to the header tag of the website. And this is it here. You click on header.php. When you go to header.php, Under header.php, the instruction is that you should paste it within the head section before the open body. This is the head section. This is the opening of your the head section of your website. This is the closing of the head section of your website. And this is set before the open body. So your the code will not come inside your open body. It will come between this place and this place. So definitely you can copy this website. You can copy this link on that here. And once you do that, as you can see now, while I was checking my other website, I couldn't find all this. I don't know what is happening with the source code of the website. So this is what this is what I was trying to remove from my previous website, which I couldn't find. So you paste it, you can code. It's within the head, opening of the head section of the website and the closing of the head section of the website before the open body. Once you have once you do that, all you need you save your website, you update file. Once you update it here. It is a file edited successfully. You come back here and click on verify. Your website will be verified. Can you see ownership verified? Definitely, this is telling you that your website is successfully connected to Google Search Console. And that's the simple way to do it. So, moving forward for the sake of this class, because I'm not this to Google Search Console alone, I'm showing you everything you need to know about Google Search Console. So, after connecting your website, what are the other things that are relevant to you in Google Search Console that you need to know? So you come under performance. Under performance are where you see how your content are performing monthly, yearly, in six months. You will see the data there. So this is telling me that in the last three months, I have 300 and I have 35.5K total clicks to my website. That is people that visited my website. In the last three months, I have four four hundred and four hundred and fifty-two k total impression. That is the numbers of exposure that my website got on the web, which is mass massive, and an average click rate of seven point eight percent with six point six average position. So let me come here. I'm going to break all the things here down. So this is query. You move down. This is query. That is, this query means what people are typing on search engine that is landing them on my website. That is, what are the people? What are the things people are typing on Google that is taking them to my website? I have Garlic Allium. Garlic Allium is a product by New Life. I have New Life Aloe Vera Plus. I have New Life products for infection. I have New Life products. So, if I have, I'm going to share some insights with you right now in terms of 
how you can rank for keywords, how you can use this query search bar, how you can use this query option here to, to know the kind of, to gain insight into the kind of keywords you can rank for. So all you need to do, see, you are seeing that the word new life product, people are searching the word new life product. So in the last three months, the word new life product had 21,712 impressions, which is massive. If you are paying to get this on Google Ads, you know how much you are going to pay if you are if you are a PPC expert. So this is telling me that I need to rank for keywords which will include new life products. That is, if I'm writing a blog post or I'm ranking a product page for new life products, which includes the keyword new life products, this will bring a lot of visitors to my website. This will give my website a lot of exposure. That's an insight there. I also have, you see, new life products for infection. You see, masculine ABBA in the last one, masculine ABBA had 1,000 impressions. All these things are, are giving you ideas of what people are searching to locate your website. And looking at this thing, this is telling you basically, these are things people are searching on Google, which is very, very relevant. You can analyze all this keyword, this query here, and, and link it with the keywords you want to write, you want to run for, to write, to come up with a blog post, or you can even choose to use the word book, the, you can even choose the query here that are relevant and run for them automatically. You just make sure that the content you are putting out are solid and the content you are putting out are in line with Google, Google guidelines. When I when I, I can move forward to show you other pages, see, see another one, GNLD product. GNLD product has over 4,000 impressions in the last three months on my website. So these are relevant. These are relevant queries that I can run for. And the essence of this query section on Google Search Console is for you to see what people are typing on Google Search Console, on Google Search Engine Rara, to come into your website, which are likely keywords that you can run for. If the impressions are great and you are seeing a massive clicks to the website, to your website. So moving forward, I'm going to show you, you are going to see pages, see pages. Basically, the page section is basically telling you about pages on your website that are doing fine. So you can see this is this is my page on high blood pressure. In the last three months, it has 2,000 clicks, 2,000 organic clicks. That is the power of SEO. You know how much you are going to pay to run for to 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 run for this on paid ads. This is, my, this is another website. This is another page on my website for salmon oil. This is another product, garlic allium. These are my top performing pages. So you can also look at all these pages and if you can you can update it. If it's a blog post that was written on, on something, something, the top 10 performing content in 2021. And they are, they, are, they are your top performing pages in the last three months. You need to update that content because we are already in 2022. So once you update it, it will gain more traffic. It will gain more exposure. So basically, that is what it's about. That's what it's about. Under countries, you see my top performing countries is Nigeria, where my website is topping the most is Nigeria. I also have Tanzania. I have Ghana. I have South Africa, Kenya, United States of America, and the like. So this is the power of search engine. Search engine does not limit you to the countries you are does not limit you to the countries you are targeting. If you are paying for ads to get this, you can't target, do you know the numbers of, the how big your budget will be for you to target all these countries? So on that device, basically this is telling me about mobile and desktop. And we all know that mobile will come first because we are in the, we, we are in the mobile first era. So you need to optimize your website and make your website user friendly on mobile because all what your audience are doing right now on the web is on mobile. So let's go to search appearance. Another one is search appearance. We have videos, we have product results and the likes. And for dates, date is basically about the numbers of impressions and clicks I'm getting per day. So 
for September 26th, I got 4,000, close to 5,000 impressions and 394 clicks to my website. And this is the breakdown. This is the breakdown going forward. So another tool that is available to you on Google Search Console is the URL inspection tool. The URL inspection tool is basically for you to request for index indexation of your website of or of a page on your website. Imagine you updating a content on your website. You don't need to wait for Google because it might take Google one week. It might take to Google two weeks for them to come to your website for them to crawl that page. But you. Since you have made an update to your website and you don't want to drop in ranking, you just come here and pop in the updated URL and expect. So, and you request that Google to index your website. That is what URL inspection is all about. Coming to under index, we have pages. There are a lot of things you can do under index. What is the meaning? I will share something with you right now on index. We want to share something with you on index. What is what does index mean? A page is indexed by Google if it has been visited by Google crawler. That is the Google bot. You can also call it Google search engine. Analyzed for content and meaning and stored in the Google index or it is stored in the Google search engine. If your page is not crawled by Google and it is not indexed, there's a difference between a page being crawled and there's a difference between a page being indexed. Indexed basically means it has been stored in Google Search Engine. So under Google Search Console, this is on index is where you will see all the pages that has been crawled and, and indexed by Google on your website. So on, on my website, I have 68 pages. Google, Google Google Search Console is telling me that 68 pages has been crawled and indexed on my website. So it's saying view data about in So these are the 68 pages. These are the 68 pages. These are the 68 pages that have been crawled. You can see the last crawl, that is last crawl, the last time Google visited my website is September 23rd, 2002. These are all the 68 pages that have been indexed and crawled on my website. And these are all the pages on this website that are on search engine. So let me move back a bit. So under index, under page indexing, you can see a lot of things on in your Google Search Console that can that can inform how you implement you, you optimize your website, that can inform how you need to tweak your website to meet up with Google guidelines. So under page index, you are going to see things like this. They are saying, okay, I've shown I've showed you pages that are indexed on my website, which is 68 pages. On that page index, you are also going to see things like this, which you need to take note of, which you need to critically look at because they, they influence the performance of your website. And the, if you don't take notice of them, you might get penalized by Google. And all your effort of your ranking will be futile because you can just move from page one to page five if you are not taking note of all these things. So why pages are not indexed? These are pages that are not indexed on my, on my website. The reason, there are different reasons why your pages 
might not be indexed on Google. I'm going to create a separate video explaining all these things, excluded by no index tag, paid with redirect, duplicate with user colonical, colonical and also alternate pay with proper colonical tag. All this code, code and currently no indexed. So, so you really need to, this is a technical aspect of SEO. You have seen, I've showed you earlier that 68 pages are indexed on my website. So, and I look at all those 68 pages. They are pages I want Google to index on my website. Because you need to check if some certain pages are indexed on your website. Do you want them to appear on Google search engine? Do you want Google to, to index them? If you don't want Google to index them, you need to take it out from your sitemap. You need to take it out from Google. So on this page, we have excluded by no index tag. I'm going to create video on, on this and check out my website for video on this. I'm going to create video with page, it, page with redirect. That is, Google Search Console is telling me that five pages on my website as page with redirect. That is, once people type the URL of that page, it is taking them to another website. As, as a website owner, you need to analyze all this. That why are my pages is being why are my pages being redirected to another page? Do I want this? Is this what I want? If it's not something you want, you need to fix it. Excluded by no index tag. Let's just check this out. So you need to check this. The, the, the same 13 pages are affected by this on the website. So I, you need to look at is this do, do I want you not to index all this that on the next video for the sake of this video? So I don't want this video to be too long. So let's move. I'm going to share insight on that on the next video I'll be creating on no index tag. Let's move to video pages. Google Search Console is also giving you insight on videos on your website that are indexed. On this my website, if you go to this my website, I have videos on my website. I have pages on my website that are embedded YouTube videos in. So one of the ways I can, Google is now telling me that 13 videos on my website are, in, are currently indexed. And you know that Google is the owner of YouTube. Google algorithm and Google crawler follows link. So for my website, they trace the link to YouTube. And from YouTube, they trace the link back to my website. So it's not telling you that I have 13 pages, 13 videos that you can check. So you need to confirm if these videos, see on my new live formula, I did plus website, I embedded the video. The last time they called it is September 26th. That was three days ago. I, I embedded a video on I blog pressure page. So these are all YouTube videos that I embedded. So, and this is very, very essential for, for you to, for creating content. You embedding video on your website is showing that you are giving more information to Google and for Google to see that your content is more relevant. And like I said earlier, Google crawler follows link. So it has follows, it's following the link from your website to YouTube and also tracing the link from YouTube back to your website, which shows that you, you already know what you are doing. So for sitemap, I'm going to show you I'm going to show you what sitemap is all about. Sitemap, an SMS sitemap is a file that lists a website essential pages, making sure that Google find and crawl them all. Search engine like Google read this file to crawl your website more efficiently. It can be pages, it can be videos, and other files on your website. That is what sitemap is all about. For a layman, I, 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 I explain sitemap as you you being a fisherman and you have a hook to catch fish and google is the river so you cast your net into the river your nets are all the links of all the pages on your website that you are throwing into google search engine for google to crawl your website and index your website i want to say for a fact that if you did not submit the sitemap of your website Google will not crawl your website, not to talk of indexing it. So sitemap is very, very essential. You need to submit your sitemap. So for, for a product website, like e-commerce website, you need to submit a product sitemap. For a news website, you need to submit a post sitemap. 
if it's a company website that you are optimizing, that you are working on as an SEO, you need to submit a page sitemap. And this is how you submit it. You just take this for a page sitemap. You're going to write page space sitemap for XML. Then you are going to submit. It's, Google is going to call all the pages on all the pages on your website. It's that simple. So let me show you what sitemap is all about. So, so it's saying see index coverage. So sitemap. So the last time it was my sitemap was read was on the 27th. So let me open my sitemap for you for you to see it. If Google is not going to call your sitemap, these are my sitemap. Look at all the pages on my website that I submitted to Google that I want Google to call. It is that simple. So also, if you want to under this is removal. If you want to remove pages on your website, if you want to remove outdated content and lies. So also we have page experience. Page experience is basically about the experience people get when they come into your website. So I'm seeing mobile usability of my website being good. The HTTPS of my website is good because your website needs to be secure. That is one of, one of the most important thing in search engine optimization. If your website is not secured, I don't think Google will call your website. So this that's what the page experience overview will give you. Page experience overview will give you. So you need to, you, you really need to take cognizance of that. So for core web vital is core web vital is just talking about the page my website page looks speed. So as you can see. I have some issues to fix here, which I'm going to look into later. And mobile usability, mobile usability of your website is where you get report on it. So everything, so 60 usability, 60 usable. That's what I have on my website. So they said no issue detected in the last in the last 90 days. So my website is good on mobile. It has mobile usability. So everything here is relevant, and you really need to take note of it. And you really need to take note of it for you to analyze your website, for you to optimize your website to rank on page one, and for you to avoid being penalized. Under shopping, shopping basically this is for a shopping website, like an e-commerce website. We have product snippets. If you have, if you have, if you have structured data on your website, they are telling me forty-five pages on my website is 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 having aggregated rating issues and review, which I need to look into. So that's what I'm telling you about that. You really need to look into your report, your Google Search Console report. Basically, Google Search Console will give you everything you need to know. It will give you everything you need to do. It will share the insight that you need to know. Merchant listing, if you know about Google Merchant Center, Google Merchant Center is also a Google product for a shopping website, an e-commerce website, where you can list your product for free. This is where you get the report here. So I believe you've learned a lot in this video. If you are yet to subscribe to my website, kindly do by pressing the subscribe button on my, web, on, on my channel right now, because I'm going to be creating more videos on search engine optimization. I, I'm using search SEO to get organic results for my business. I'll, I'm going to be sharing videos on Facebook ads Google Ads, I'm going to be sharing a lot on my channels. I'm going to be sharing a lot on digital analytics, how you, you, you can analyze marketing data, how you can achieve a lot generally with digital marketing. Thank you for learning with me today, and I'm going to see you another time.